Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. And in a story you'll only see on News Nation, we are taking a closer look at the incarceration of WNBA superstar Brittany Griner. This week, a Russian diplomat said a prisoner swap remains possible. The Biden administration working to negotiate the release of Griner and former Marine Paul Whelan. Griner was sentenced to nine years in a Russian prison and exiled to a penal colony. Here's a look at where she is and what it's like on the inside. Roughly 300 miles southeast of Moscow in the remote Russian Republic of Mordovia is a woman's penal colony described as one of the most feared brutal prisons in Russia. IK2 Inside the hard labor facility are roughly 800 women, exiled, isolated, and among them, American basketball star Brittany Griner. The WNBA All-Star and two-time Olympic gold medalist serving a nine-year sentence for drug possession after Russian customs agents say they found cannabis oil inside her luggage at Moscow's airport in February. Griner, who'd been entering the country to play with the Russian Premier League, pleaded guilty in July to the charge, saying she was prescribed the drug for pain and had no criminal intent. But a month later, she was sentenced to nine years in prison and ultimately transferred to the notorious women's corrective colony. Mordovia, known as the land of prisons, has roughly two dozen of them. It's the same area where former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan is serving a 16-year sentence on espionage charges, which he denies. According to the prison rights group Russia Behind Bars, the women live in barracks of around 80 to 100 people crowded with bunk beds. There's a shower room, a bathroom with several toilets, and a sink. From 6 a.m. until 9 p.m., prisoners are prohibited from lying or sitting on their beds. All the these camps have forced labor. Um, they, you know, see it sort of not unlike we do with prison industry, only it, it's slave labor. Jonathan Franks, president of Lucid Strategies, was instrumental in freeing former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed from a Russian prison. Reed spent nearly three years in a penal colony before being released in a prisoner swap. During the day, they had work. You know, most of the inmates were kept in a bunkhouse, squalid inside. The food was bad. And by bad, I mean, you know, rotten. It was a very difficult existence. He says Griner likely endures a similar experience, including hard labor, working up to 16 hours per day, possibly in a charcoal or soap factory or doing general prison maintenance. She may be sewing police uniforms or the prison uniform and headscarf she likely wears and then eating whatever they feed her or is brought in for her in a communal dining room. They do provide some food, but again, food so rotten that the cats wouldn't eat it. So she is not going to be well fed in that place. Now, do I think that there's some chance that they may try to put their best foot forward in taking care of her only because she is so prominent? It's possible, but this isn't necessarily a terribly customer service friendly regime, right? Like uh, in a lot of places in the world, they take an attitude that prison is prison, right? It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be gross and it's going to be cold. In some instances, the women are punished if they don't work hard enough or meet their work quota or refuse to work. There could be punishments from withholding food to solitary confinement and in some cases beatings by other prisoners. It's been described as hell. These facilities were built to break people. They were designed to be brutal and oppressive. Um, so I think as we're thinking about what this might do to somebody, right? Like, and again, I think that physically she's going to be kept safe. She's too famous um, to let anything go wrong. On the mental health side, right? I, I, it is very rare that somebody could go through an experience like this and not need some help on the backside. I wouldn't count Miss Griner out of a street fight, right? And that's what she's in right now. She's in the fight of her life. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.